Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. Is Prince Harry living out Prince William's lifelong dream of a life in America? Growing up, Prince Willem and Prince Harry were always close. Though they were on two different paths as the heir and the spare, their parents Prince Charles and Princess Diana made sure that they were always connected. The brothers remained close for years, with Prince Harry even revealing that his older brother pushed him to seek therapy when he was struggling with the loss of their mother. Unfortunately, the brother's bond was reportedly strained in 2016 when Prince William cautioned the Duke of Sussex about moving too quickly with his now wife, Meghan, Duchess of Sussex. Now, following Megxit, the royal brothers have been repairing their relationship and it seems that amid all of the chaos and drama, and with the Sussexes moving to Los Angeles, Prince Harry is living out a lifelong dream of Prince William's. Prince William hasn't always embraced royal life. Prince Harry had reportedly been unhappy as a member of the British royal family for several years. Though he adores this family, it seems that he still has long-held resentments about living life on a global stage especially considering the tragic way his mother died. The Duke of Sussex told Newsweek, We are involved in modernizing the British monarchy. We are not doing this for ourselves, but for the greater good of the people. Is there anyone of the royal family who wants to be king or queen? I don't think so, but we will carry out our duties at the right time. Prince William has also shared his younger brother's sentiments in the past. Though the future crowned king has fully embraced his fate, he resented the fact that he would be king for many years. Journalist Jeremy Pexman recalled, We talked about our children, and Princess Diana said William often told her that he didn't really want to be king, and then Harry would say, If you don't want the job, I'll have it. Prince William wanted to spend time in America away from the royal family. When Prince William was a college student at St. Andrews University from 2001 to 2004, he enjoyed a level of normalcy and anonymity that he'd never experienced before. The royal family and the university took his privacy very seriously, and his relationship with Kate even flew under the radar for some time. Upon graduation, Prince William considered taking some time away from his royal life in America. Reporter Louisa Pearson explained at the time, Having enjoyed a degree of privacy as a student at St. Andrews, perhaps it's not such a surprise that William has announced his intention to spend a few years living in the U.S. after he finishes his degree, work in a gallery or auction house, and the possibility of a postgraduate degree have apparently been discussed. Unfortunately, Prince William never got the opportunity to take a gap year in America. He went on to the Sandhurst Military Academy instead. Prince Harry could be living out Prince William's lifelong dream. Now that the royal brothers are rebuilding their relationship, Prince Harry has reportedly been leaning on his brother. U.S. Weekly reports. Moving to a completely different country is never easy for anyone, including Harry. And he wasn't expecting to be faced with so many obstacles. Prince William has urged his brother to return to London, at least until things calm down. However, Prince Harry is excited about this new phase of his life. According to US Weekly, he thinks life in Los Angeles is a breath of fresh air from his former duties. It appears that Prince Harry is living out Prince William's lifelong dream. And so on to other news and Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are handling post-royal life completely differently. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are still settling into their new lives in Los Angeles, California. The two moved there after stepping down from their royal roles back in January. Then left Vancouver Island. British Columbia for something more permanent in the United States. But now that it's been several months, sources suggest Harry and Meghan are handling the adjustment very differently. 
Prince Harry and Meghan Markle officially left the family on March 31st. When Harry and Meghan announced their departure, they didn't just up and leave the family right away. They remained official members through the first quarter of the year, though they spent most of their time in North America. The couple returned for their final set of royal duties in early March, before settling down in North America for good. Their official duties ended on March 31st, and they closed their royal office, as well as their Instagram account. Sources have said Meghan is thriving in her new life. Meghan and Harry had a tough time adapting as a married couple, mostly because Meghan was hounded by the press. The negative stories caused the Duchess to become problematic to the public, which was part of the reason for their departure. Meghan and Harry settled down in Los Angeles in the spring, and according to sources close to the Duchess, she is feeling so much better. An insider revealed, Meghan feels more at home too, and she's really starting to feel like herself again. Meghan grew up in Los Angeles, and now lives much closer to her mother, Doria Radwint. Some say both royals are excited about the future. Though there have been reports that Harry doesn't feel great about the move, not all sources close to the prince have said that. Others suggest that Harry is actually very excited to be starting a new chapter with his wife and son, far away from the intense royal spotlight. A source told us weekly, it's the next chapter for him, and a breath of fresh air from his former duties. He's always wanted Meghan to be happy, safe, and comfortable. Growing up, Harry always disliked the royal spotlight. Although many people blame Meghan for the couple's exit, Harry likely wanted it just as much. It's certainly more of an adjustment for Harry, and it makes sense that he would feel a wave of different emotions after going through so many changes, getting married, becoming a father, and leading the family. In so little time. Another analysis. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry had a deep discussion about Megxit before they even got married. When Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, and Prince Harry announced, they would be resigning from their roles as senior working members of the British royal family in January 2020, royal fans were stunned. It was no secret that the pair hadn't exactly had a seamless experience in the public eye. The Duke of Sussex had released multiple statements about the press, obsession with his wife. Likewise, the pair decided to sue several tabloids for invading their privacy. In the October 2019 ITV documentary Harry and Meghan, an African journey, they were uncharacteristically candid about living life in a fishbowl. They warned that if things did not change, they would leave it all behind. Now, sources are saying that Megxit was not a spur-of-the-moment idea. In fact, it appears that the Sussexes had a deep discussion about Megxit before they even got married. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are very happy in Los Angeles. When the Sussexes moved to Meghan's hometown of Los Angeles, they hoped to launch their new Arcawell Foundation and begin their new careers with their powerhouse Hollywood team by their side. The coronavirus, COVID-19, pandemic has halted all of their plans. Though the transition has been challenging, especially for Prince Harry, who is so very far from home, the Sussexes are reportedly extremely happy. Prince Harry had been unhappy as a senior working royal for several years. Well, before he met Meghan, Prince Harry was reportedly very unhappy as a senior member of the British royal family. Though he and Prince William have always been close, after the Duke of Cambridge wed Catherine, Duchess of Cambridge, there was little room for Prince Harry. He has also been resentful of the press, especially considering the way his mother, Princess Diana, tragically died. Prince Harry explained in a leaked phone call, For most, all of my life, I've always been part of a family and part of a country that is scared of the tabloid media because they have so much power and influence and no morals laughs from the moment that I found a wife 
that was strong enough to be able to stand up for what we believe in together has basically scared them so much that they've now come out incredibly angry. They've come out fighting. And all they will try and do now is try and destroy our reputation and try and, you know, save us. In fact, it appears that the prince had been considering an exit for some years. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry had a major discussion about Mexit before they got married. When they started getting serious, even before they tied the knot, the Sussexes had a major discussion about Mexit. An insider told The Sun, The seeds of Mexit were sown before they even got married. The truth is that Harry had been deeply unhappy for a long time. And he and Meghan openly discussed going in a different direction well before they got married. Though Meghan was reportedly willing to see how things went as things got worse for her, the prince ultimately pulled the plug on their royal life, Prince Harry said during a dinner for his charity, Santa Vale. The decision that I have made for my wife and I to step back is not what I made likely. It was so many months of talks after so many years of challenges. And I know I haven't always gotten it right, but as far as this goes, there really was no other option. Apparently, the forthcoming book, Finding Freedom, Harry and Meghan, and the making of a modern royal family will go into great detail about Mexit. So there you have it, that's all the news on Meghan and Prince Harry situation today. As always, thanks for listening. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and press that notification bell if you want to be notified of future videos. Thank you. Don't stop.